Jeb Murphy's the name, and I got all the... Hello there. Nope, we can't put no price on safety. That was a hell of a storm last night. <laughs> And I can tell you, with no uncertainty, that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr... Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service, at the surface of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be? I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir... I'd do a bulk discount rate of $1.95 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Oh, uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> uh, listen, Marston, I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> Head for Ridgewood Farm, John, and hurry. There are people there in dire need of my tonic. You're looking particularly radiant today, miss. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you. Hoodwink. To Ridgewood Farm, the sick and needy await us. Oh, the life of a wandering saver of souls. to the poor and naive. My dear boy, if I may be so bold, I'm not sure that you are best placed to comment on naive pain. What are you talking about, old man? I am talking about your ill-timed visit to the port. I was wondering when we'd get to that. Well, that's why you're here, isn't it? I already saved your life. I certainly don't owe you any more favor. Like I say, John, nothing is free. I realize there are two sides this transaction, and I think I'll be able to help you. Now, did you really think you'd be able to just stroll into Port Mercer? If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death door. You should thank the doctor for that. But I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. A more convincing old fellow there has never been. And so shall you be fair, Iago, or Cassio, I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret that. I'll drop you off at the outskirts of Bridgewood. 
that way it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be forming. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the being. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. You hop out here, John. Follow me in on foot. I'll see you there. Be ready to enchant the crowd. <laughs> souls of uh, Chola Springs, uh, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous <coughs> elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. Sight of an eagle, granted by imbibing Dr. Westicken's own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Steady yourself, stranger. Don't forget to draw your weapon, sir. I thought we was here to see mirrors. Such an eye. Behold the power of the elixir. Looked out of the sky. Hey! Hey! What? 
You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? But it don't work like that around here, mister. Come on! Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Look at him! The tonic is coursing through his veins! You're making a big mistake! The power of us! There it is! Skeptics and dissenters! Irrefutable proof! Do not let this opportunity pass you by! Look, he's over there! Go get him! This ends now! Watch out! He's got a gun! Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive! that can only be afforded by the West Dickens Elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. You'll be fine. Get out of my way. Hey, where are you going? Oh, I, I want a bottle. Get me a bottle, please. One of them right here. No harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. Uh, he's uh, most often found at Coote's Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! Uh. Let's go! Come on! Come on! Yeah. 
do. Appreciate that. Hi there. Everything here is proudly made right here in the USA. Anything else I can do for you? That should keep me going for a while.
Sorry, partner. That no good piece of dirt. Thank you. Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest, but people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. A more flannel mouth bunko artist I've never met. Hey, Marshal, see those vultures? Might just be a dead critter. Marston, take a look. Eli, you too. Don't look too good. It's 
Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. dead body and the fire's still smoking those scumbags must still be around come on let's pound leather boys looks like they're headed for ridgewood farm sons of bitches if you want to run a gang of outlaws arskin yeah but not like that it wasn't our way at least it wasn't my way killing and thieving's never right boy no matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean? The place looks deserted. Where is everyone? All right, boys, let's have a look around. Faster! Nobody's in the shed! John, shoot that door open. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> This 
way. Drop the weapon and put your hands up. Who's next? I need it more than you now. Ain't you a pretty little thing? I'm gonna shut down, Marston. No innocents need to die today. There's a deputy waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. Um, thank God. Damn you. I don't believe it. This has gone far enough. Get in the... shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. Thank you. I was convinced I was dead. Clear. There'll be a deputy waiting for you. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers.
This is mighty generous of you, mister. Chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect us, Marshal. You folk eat men. You ain't nothing. You're just some man on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Not up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets fifty dollars. It ain't about the money, Marshal. These are people's lives, people's homes. <laughs> Let's go! Get on your horse, boy! Follow me! We can still catch him! Oh, yeah. Come on! Do you think they might be headed for Fort Mercer, Marshal? What? Williamson's men? Maybe! Oh, this sure looks like their handiwork. Makes sense if they took this road. Come on, Marshal! This might be our chance! Come on! What's your beef with Williamson anyway, Marston? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell are you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bearing in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. I'm about to... That somebody on the cliff? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Seeing you in hell, my friend. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> There's something that you're still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Missy. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. With your help, John. Norman, let's get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck 
you! Hog time. Let's get to jail. I need it more than you now. Are you blind? Move! 